good morning. It's uh, the third day. Uh, this is the management meeting, so it will be slightly different format. Uh, it's great you're all here. Creativity, content creativity, but also business and business model creativity are the basis for our success. We really want to have or build three legs. Media content as a significant leg we already have and which we want to continue to build. Services with Avato, B printers and potentially business information. And then a new leg, education. I mean, this is such a happening area in the Silicon Valley. There's a lot of ideas and, and one of the things that always come out is Think about the customer, but not just your current cost customer, but what would a customer want, you know, sometime down the line. We're operating from a position of strength here. We've worked hard over the last few years to really get us to this position, and we now have a financing position that enables us to invest. 1.6 billion invested already this year, uh, several billion available for the next few years. Time to talk um, a little bit about people, and as you said, Judith, it's time to give a short report uh, on the uh, employee survey. We're lucky to actually have the Bertelsmann Employee Survey as the central instrument of our corporate culture of partnership, and it is among our most important strategic instruments for performance. As you already know from Thomas's letter last month, we had a record participation of nearly 87%. With this increasing participation, we've also seen a steady rise in positive feedback from our employees. Now, Penguin Random House wants to write the next chapter, the next successful chapter of publishing, the chapter of the 21st century, the chapter of publishing in the digital era. We have an enormously powerful cultural content treasure and publish many of the most uh, acclaimed authors around the world, under them the new uh, Nobel Prize winner Alice Munro. Penguin and Random House have been cultural institutions. We are basically saying that, that print will always be important and digital will, will become more and more important and the, the, the relation between print and digital is an and, it's both and not an either or and we heard it over and over again you know during the sessions that it's not like sort of embracing the new does not mean that we have to run away from the old it's sort of you know you know finding the new balance between old formats and new formats over the last months besides completing the re IPO process we have been delivering on all of our strategic goals despite strong or tough macroeconomic conditions in most of the markets we operate in and we have advanced in all three areas. And as a result of these acquisitions we are basically the number one European media group among all US worldwide companies in terms of streaming worldwide. And I think that this achievement is great. Our ambition is to grow the business substantially over the next years um, by implementing the strategy we just uh, laid out to you. I think the RTL Group has to be aware of the fact that digitization is on the one hand a challenge, as digitization means fragmentation of the market is going to continue, there will be more and more channels, more and more platforms. On the other hand, digitization offers us the possibility to reach our users, our viewers on totally um, new platforms. I will try to do the impossible today. I will try to explain you Avato. We want to become the most innovative, agile, flexible, and international company. We decided to go to work for six countries. That's Germany and France at the most strongest for sure. We're doing quite well in China and Spain. And I personally would like to focus on the US and the UK. The Valley is a beautiful place to learn. All these important companies we're working with, like Google, like Amazon, Facebook, uh, Apple, they are here and we talk to these customers. And what you learn is always the same. First, it's about talent and people. I have the right talent and the right people. The other one is speed, be fast, and focus. Focus on the right things and execute well.
In our strategic definition, the growth region for us is the BIC. B-I-C, Brazil, India, China. We have exciting plans for balancement on corporate level, what relates to education businesses and digital businesses. About a year ago, we opened the corporate center. This was June 2012. And we were very lucky in the first year to have the opportunity to invest in two of the, I would say, blue chip local funds in Brazil. Cherry on the top this year, not only would we grow at 12%, which is the sectorial growth rate, we will grow at double that rate, which is more than 25%, actually 28 odd percent. Which, which talks about what Thomas said in the beginning, our businesses are strong, they are very well respected and are very relevant in these markets. Because we have this clear strategic framework, we also know exactly what we want to do in the next 15 to 18 months. The priorities are very clear. We're going to deliver in the various parts of the group what we promised. And once we, we are well advanced on this, we're going to make the next significant steps. There is no other media company with as much and as diverse content as we have. Bertelsmann is a creative powerhouse. I think there's absolutely no doubt. Facebook, we talk to Google, we talk to Amazon, we talk to Apple, how they deal with us, the kind of partnerships that we can work with them, I think that's a really important element. One key observation I think was important to me, which is that um, the tech firms will do tech and we will do content, and they need the content. Whether it's a Flipboard or a Google or a Facebook, the content is unbelievably important for them. I think people can be very confident, self-confident about what we have achieved. If we would continue at this pace, frankly, this would be amazing and it would be, would be really good.